Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. We have got a nice day here in December. It's 41 degrees out. We've had a couple of good days in a row to the point where most of our snow has melted. Uh, the lakes are still frozen over, so that doesn't really matter much. But uh, to me, it's always just a positive mindset thing when I look out and don't see snow on the ground. It just makes it feel warmer. We are supposed to be getting some seriously cold weather rolling in tonight uh, and some snow. So that's what happens in the winter. If you live up north, you get these warm days occasionally during the winter. Generally, it's followed by a snowstorm and it slaps you right in the face and brings you back to reality. But hey, that's the choice of living here. And that's why we're going to talk about winter time baits today. I get a lot of questions from viewers that want to know what are my favorite winter time baits. And you know, no matter where I'm at in the country, as long as the water's not froze over, I've got here five baits for you that will cover shallow to deep and does not matter the species of bass you're chasing. They are some of the best performing baits in cold winter time water. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Before I get into that, I do want to remind you guys that I do a bunch of lake breakdowns. So if you're looking for some help on your local lakes, maybe you uh, are going on vacation to a lake this summer and just want to have some good advice as to where to start. Check out the lake breakdowns. I provide 40 waypoints specific to the season and the lake spread out throughout the body of water. So you'll have a little bit of help no matter where you go. Check those out. Also, if you're looking to support the channel, please use my Tackle Warehouse affiliate link. The link for that is in the video description as well. All right, so let's talk about these baits. You know, generally speaking, what you're gonna have, no matter where you're at in the country during the winter months, is a subset of fish that will stay relatively shallow and then you've got another group of fish that go very deep generally speaking the fish are going to be in those locations based on forage so if you're talking about maybe fishing up here in the north country and you want to chase smallmouth you're probably going to be fishing 20 to 40 foot of water around the areas where you might have some cisco maybe some alewife you know some of your more nomadic forage species if you're Fishing for largemouth up north, you're probably going to be still relatively close to some of the green grass. Uh, you're going to be staying on the brake lines on your flats and similar things down south. If you're down south and you're talking about wintertime water temps where you've got 45 to 50 degree waters, you know, you're going to have a population of the largemouth that are still going to be shallow, hanging around shoreline structure. And then you're going to have a population that move out deeper, maybe suspend over standing timber or are using some of the bluff walls, some of those rock transition areas. And all of these baits I'm going to talk about today will work in pretty much every one of the situations that you're going to run into during the winter time periods. So let's talk about the first ones. If you're going to be fishing shallow, one of my absolute favorite baits to cover water is a lipless like this Berkeley War Pig. I do like to throw some of my red colors. We all know red works pretty well during cold water periods, but a uh, lipless crankbait can be an absolute great way to cover water and create reaction strikes. Because remember, this time of year, a lot of these fish are very lethargic. They're not looking to eat. So you need to create that reaction strike and few baits are as good at doing that as a lipless. So I'm going to be throwing a lipless for sure. Next up again, if I'm going to be in relatively shallow water, I always like to have a jig, uh, a jig like this one right here. One of my favorites, the Dirty Jigs, uh, Scott Canterbury flipping jig with a Berkeley meaty chunk on the back is a go to for cold water periods because anytime you come in contact with a piece of structure that's got some ability of holding warmth from sunlight. So your lay down trees, your stumps, a big boulder, a dock post. A dock is going to be, or a, a jig is going to be a great bait to throw at those objects. So you want something that's going to be weedless because a lot of times those fish are going to be buried up in that lay down tree and there's very few baits that work better than a jig at going in and getting them. Now, as you move out of some of those shallower areas where you start getting on your points and your brake lines, maybe a channel swing, one of the best baits is your jerk bait. This is a Berkeley Stunna, one of my absolute favorite baits. Uh, a jerk bait we just know is potentially the best cold water bait that we have. It's a very good bait at mimicking that forage species that are dying off. So your shad, your alewife, your cisco, even bluegill, a lot of the weakest fish start dying off as those water temperatures drop. 
and therefore they start fluttering in the water and a jerkbait does an absolute perfect job in mimicking those dying bait fish. It's one of the easiest meals for the bass to eat. Now remember, like I said, they're lethargic. They're not looking to go chase bait fish around, but if there's a dying shad in front of them, they're gonna eat it and a jerk bait is an absolute must for cold water periods. Now, as we start getting deeper, there's only a few baits that I really, really like to use. The first is going to be a swim bait. Generally, I'm throwing more of a finesse style swim bait. This is a Dirty Jigs Matt Stefan guppy head. I've got on the back here just a 3.3 Kitek Fat Impact. I like to fish this in a very slow manner. I like to tight line it where I'm throwing it out, letting that bait just pendulum back to me. I'm really just reeling in the slack line as it's falling to the bottom. Once it gets to the bottom, I'm trying to keep it there as long as possible. But again, the whole key here is you've got a bait that, that's mimicking a lot of that dying forage, creates an easy meal for the fish, and no matter where you're at in the country, they will eat a small finesse swim bait. Last up, as you start moving really to some of your deepest water out there, you get a lot of fish that are wintering, you know, whether it's on uh, deep humps, saddles, the far ends of points, uh, sometimes on deep flats. There's very few baits as good as a blade bait. This is the Silver Buddy, one of my favorites. It's just an excellent bait at creating those reaction strikes from fish that are dormant. You're talking about fish that may eat once a week. They're not intending to eat at all, but if you get a blade bait down there, you can trick them into biting. It's very similar in reality to a lipless crankbait, only this bait's gonna allow you to fish it in substantially deeper water. And it's a bait that allows you to fish really deep, very effectively and efficiently. So you can cover water and you can do it in a manner that's gonna trigger those fish to bite. So it's one of the baits that I absolutely love to throw. Again, it's what I would consider one of the absolute best cold water baits. So those five baits, guys, are baits that I'll have tied on every time I head out in the cold water period, regardless of where I'm at in the country. They will allow me to cover from two foot of water all the way down to 50 foot of water. So I'm gonna have it all covered. Now. Let me know in the comments section, what baits do you think I missed? Are there baits that you have to have tied on during the winter months? If so, please share with the rest of us so we can learn from you guys as well. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, we'll have a new video tomorrow for you.